This morning in our Saturday session, Jeff Tweedy, like many of us, a celebrated front man for the band Wilco, has spent much of the year hanging around his house. But quarantine hasn't slowed down Tweedy's prolific writing. In fact, this month he released a book and just yesterday a new solo album. And that's not all. We're going to hear from Jeff Tweedy and a performance in just a moment. But first, Anthony Mason spoke with him about his busy year. Hey, wake up. Your eyes weren't open wide. Even in a pandemic, Jeff Tweedy and his family have been prolific. You've been doing sessions at home during the pandemic, but almost every day. <laughs> yeah, on my wife's Instagram. It's the Tweety Show. It's become a thing. All right, you want to do a song? Was that something you, you needed to do? The initial impulse was to cheer my wife up. There's a reason. I think she was disappointed that I was home from tour. <laughs> Wilco's summer tour was canceled, and Tweedy has no idea when he'll perform in front of a live audience again. We just started playing songs occasionally. We did it every night. We've done like 107 shows. I, say to your face. I just felt a, a need to have some routine, some, some daily connection to my family and to share some sense of reliability and normalcy. And then you, and then you went and, and recorded an album as well. You know, I was just given all of this time that I wouldn't have otherwise had. Love isn't fair. Love is the king. His work for the new album, Love is the King, wasn't Love the only the writing king. Tweedy did. In June, soon after the death of George Floyd, Tweedy put out this statement on Twitter, pledging 5% of his songwriting royalties to groups working for racial justice and challenged the industry to follow him. The modern music industry, he wrote, is built almost entirely on black art. Everybody in my profession, I truly believe, uh, if I have any kind of connection to rock and roll, any kind of connection to popular music, of the last hundred years, you owe a debt to somebody that wasn't paid, and um, primarily people that were of African American descent. There's there's respect paid, but not necessarily money. It's it's still a, it's still an uneven playing field, and I don't think a lot of people want to believe that. Maybe, but it but it is. In the seven months since the pandemic began, Tweedy has also written and published a new book. I was struck by the title, which is how to write one song, not how to write songs. Right. If you want to write two songs, you have to buy two books. <laughs> it's not just a guidebook for songwriters. It's a meditation on Tweedy's own creative process. What does creativity do for you? It's a good way to kill time without hurting anybody. <laughs> you know, I think it's, it's better for me than other things that I've done in my life to kill time. It teaches me about myself. It functions the same way I think meditation might function for a lot of people. You've been incredibly productive mentally. How do you feel you weathered the pandemic? I have struggled with, uh, with depression and, and, and anxiety disorder for, for a Long, almost my entire life. So I feel like I feel pre pandemic. I actually feel well suited. <laughs> In fact, it's a little easier. There's something about having to, to cope with those particular types of uh, mental health issues that has uh, prepared us for a quarantine. <laughs>